The Mariana Trench, located in the western Pacific Ocean, holds the title for being the deepest oceanic trench worldwide. Its incredible depth reaches a mind-boggling 36,037 feet or 10,984 meters, which is so deep that it could easily fit the entire Mount Everest underwater with a surplus of 1.2 miles. As a result, one can only fathom the vast number of mysterious creatures that dwell within its depths, ranging from eerie deep-sea dragonfish to peculiar zombie worms. Below, we present a list of 20 astonishing and unknown creatures from the Mariana Trench. Number 1. Sea Cucumber Sea cucumbers are incredibly unique marine creatures that can be found on the ocean floor worldwide. With over 1,700 different species, most of them located in the Asia-Pacific region, they truly stand out. Unlike other animals, sea cucumbers have a soft, leathery skin and lack any solid appendages. While they can reach lengths of up to 12 inches, some species are as small as 3 millimeters, 0.12 inches, while others can grow up to 10 feet long. These peculiar organisms form large groups on the seafloor and can thrive in extreme depths of over 10,687 meters, 35,000 feet. Due to their gelatinous tissue, they are able to control their buoyancy, allowing them to float, swim, or rest on the ocean floor. Their diet mainly consists of scavenging for decaying organic matter and plankton in their surroundings. Number 2. Granrojo Jellyfish Understanding that there are still unknown creatures on Earth can be quite challenging. Despite our vast knowledge, the Granrojo Jellyfish serves as evidence that we don't know as much as we believe. This elusive jellyfish was first discovered in 2003, most likely due to its habitat at depths of up to 4,800 feet in the ocean. While our knowledge about this species is limited, we do possess some information. For instance, it can reach a diameter of over three feet and has four to seven arms that it uses to capture prey. These arms are long, red, and match the color of its large, round head. Scientists hypothesize that, like other known jellyfish, the Gran Rojo jellyfish lacks eyes, a brain, a heart, and bones, consisting mostly of water. It is believed that they feed on small fish and zooplankton, likely trapping them with their tentacles, although it is uncertain whether they can sting and ensnare prey like other jellyfish. Reproduction in the Gran Rojo jellyfish is thought to be similar to other jellyfish, involving the release of eggs into the water to form a planula that latches onto a rock or structure and develops into a polyp. The polyp then multiplies to create an ephira, which eventually matures into an adult jellyfish. Number 3. Goblin Shark The goblin shark is a creature that would deter most individuals from exploring the Mariana Trench. Its appearance alone, even in photographs, is enough to make one prefer to stay on land where it is safe from encountering these terrifying creatures. These deep-sea dwellers are considered living fossils, with a history dating back approximately 125 million years. They possess elongated flat snouts, extendable jaws, and peculiar yet prominent nail-like teeth. Growing up to 13 feet in length, some have been found measuring around 20 feet, which is a terrifying image to imagine sneaking up behind you. While most goblin sharks reside at depths exceeding 330 feet, they can momentarily dive to depths of up to 4,270 feet, which is comforting news for those concerned about encountering them in shallower waters. The appearance of goblin sharks is also enough to elicit a strong reaction, including a queasy feeling due to their unusual physique. They possess flabby skin, small fins, and a less streamlined appearance compared to other shark species, making them mediocre swimmers. However, we can take solace in the fact that goblin sharks both do not inhabit areas near humans and are not interested in consuming us. These creatures are ambush predators, feeding on crustaceans and teleost fish like dragonfishes. Nevertheless, encountering one face-to-face -face in the Mariana Trench would still be an unpleasant experience. Number 4. Viperfish Scientists still have limited knowledge about viperfish due to their deep-sea habitat, extreme depths of up to 16404 feet, and cold temperatures as low as 39 degrees Fahrenheit. However, we do understand some basic characteristics of these marine fish. Viperfish are 12-inch long creatures found in tropical and temperate waters, 
typically black, silver, or green in color. They possess unusual hinged lower jaws with long, needle-like teeth. These fish also have light-producing organs on their body sides and dorsal fin, which they can flicker and move like a fishing rod to attract prey. When prey is spotted, viperfish can swiftly charge at high speeds and immobilize it using their sharp teeth. Unlike other deep-sea fish, viperfish can endure long periods with minimal food, making it unnecessary for them to eat daily. While they prefer squid, small fish, and shrimp, they can consume various other edible organisms. It is surprising that viperfish can live up to 40 years in their natural habitat, but if captured and placed in captivity, they would perish within a matter of hours. Number 5. Deep Sea Hatchet Fishes I hope you're not planning on getting a good night's sleep tonight because I'm about to inform you about a horrifying creature that resides in the Mariana Trench and various other parts of the world. Known as marine hatchet fishes or deep sea hatchet fishes, these ray finned fish can be found in temperate subtropical and tropical waters in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Growing up to 4.7 inches in length, these fish possess a bizarre body shape and possess bioluminescent photophores. They are named hatchet fish due to their body resembling a hatchet, appearing compressed with a vertically rotated pelvis. Surprisingly, their mouths are positioned at the very tip of their snouts, almost pointing downwards, while their large, sensitive eyes gaze upwards to spot approaching food. Nevertheless, these intriguing characteristics are not the most captivating or frightening aspect of these extraordinary creatures. They possess glowing photophores on their bellies and sides, allowing them to remain concealed in the dark depths of the ocean and counteract the light from above. This enables them to elude both predators and prey. Thankfully, most humans are unlikely to encounter deep-sea hatchet fishes as they inhabit waters as deep as 4,921 feet. Number 6. Giant Amoeba Constant discoveries are being made about the ocean, and in 2011, an exciting finding emerged. A massive amoeba was discovered in the deepest parts of the world's ocean. Scientists from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography utilized a drop cam in the Mariana Trench near the Philippines, at depths reaching 6.6 .6 miles, to locate the amoeba. This significantly surpassed the previous record held in the New Hebrides Trench, which was at a depth of 4.7 miles. These amoebas typically have individual cells measuring around 4 inches or 10 centimeters and are abundant on the seafloor. They fulfill various roles, including hosting diverse organisms and capturing particulates in the water, as well as absorbing significant amounts of heavy metals like mercury, lead, and uranium. It is widely known that these amoebas are well-suited to low temperatures, high pressures, and dark environments, which explains why their presence in the Mariana Trench is not entirely unexpected. Nevertheless, marine biologists acknowledge that discovering one of these large cells in the deepest trench in the world presents further opportunities to explore the area's biodiversity, and that these amoebas merely scratch the surface of what lies beneath. Number 7. Gulper Eel Do eels resemble gigantic sea worms? They share similarities such as their serpentine appearance, worm-like characteristics, and lack of distinct features. However, Gulper eels stand apart from other eels. These eels, also known as pelican eels, are black, up to three feet in length, and possess a long and slender body. What sets them apart is their uniquely large gulp-like mouth, earning them the name gulper eel. When these eels engulf their prey, they resemble a large black balloon effortlessly gliding through the water, creating a fascinating sight. Similar to pelicans, their immense mouth enables them to consume their prey whole by scooping water along with it. While their primary diet consists of fish, cephalopods, and crustaceans, their extraordinary adaptation allows them to pursue larger fish as well. Due to their scarcity, scientists have limited knowledge about gulper eels, but their studies reveal that when removed from the high-pressure environment of the deep sea, these eels sustain damage. Number 8. Vampire Squid The vampire squid, residing in the dark, deep areas of the ocean that reach depths of approximately 3,000 feet, is a creature you would probably want to avoid crossing paths with. If you happen to upset them, you could find yourself drenched in a sticky substance that is quite memorable. 
These cephalopods, which measure around 12 inches in length, can be found in tropical and temperate seas. Initially mistaken for octopuses due to their lack of long tentacles that extend beyond their eight arms like typical squids, they possess characteristics that align with both squid and octopuses, contributing to their unique classification in the scientific realm. Vampire squid display a dark coloration and possess strikingly large blue eyes. However, one of their more distinctive attributes is the smooth, velvety webbing that connects their arms, resembling a cloak. It is this feature that earned them their vampire squid moniker, despite the fact that they do not feed on blood and could likely observe their own reflections in mirrors if they desired. Unlike other cephalopods, they are unable to change their coloration or release ink. This is due to the limited amount of light in the deep ocean, rendering these abilities largely useless. Nevertheless, they possess a defense mechanism necessary for their survival. Instead of employing color changes or ink release, they release a cloud of sticky bioluminescent fluid that resembles mucus when they feel threatened. Personally, I would prefer if they were capable of changing color, but alas, it is not their chosen method of defense. Number 9. Comb Jellies Marine invertebrates known as comb jellies inhabit various waters across the globe. Their prominent feature is the utilization of cilia, or combs, for movement, making them the largest creatures to employ such a method of swimming. These remarkable beings range from a few millimeters to five feet in length, depending on the species. Presently, it is estimated that up to 150 different comb jelly species exist. With bodies consisting mainly of gelatinous substance, comb jellies possess a dense layer of cells on their exterior, along with an internal cavity lining. They possess retractable tentacles that serve the purpose of capturing prey. Despite their soft and jelly-like composition, experts have discovered fossils dating back approximately 525 million years, illustrating their surprising resilience over time. While comb jellies inhabit shallow waters, they also thrive in the depths of the sea. Scientists are fascinated by their ability to adapt to extreme environments, prompting them to undertake scuba expeditions aimed at studying the adaptability of creatures, with comb jellies serving as a focal point for investigation. Number 10. Frilled Shark Prepare yourselves for an even more terrifying sea creature than the goblin shark, the frilled shark. This ancient species measures about 6.6 .6 feet long and has a dark brown color with a fringed appearance near its throat. It can be found in both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, specifically around the Outer Continental Shelf and Upper Continental Slope. Feeding on smaller sharks, bony fish, and cephalopods, this elusive creature moves through the water gracefully like an eel, using its 300 needle-like teeth to devour its prey whole. The frilled shark's habitat depth varies depending on its location. Around Japan, it has been discovered at depths of up to 660 feet, but it can descend even further when temperatures rise. In some cases, they have been caught off the western coast of South America at depths of up to 5,150 feet. However, their usual depth range is no deeper than 3,300 feet. These deep-sea dwellers are not frequently encountered by humans as they inhabit such remote regions. Our attention is often occupied by formidable predators like great white sharks and bull sharks. Nevertheless, human activities do impact their existence. The frilled shark is sometimes unintentionally caught in commercial fishing nets and is also commercially exploited for fish meal and meat. Although one individual was brought to the surface for captivity, it sadly did not survive. Depending on their geographic location, these creatures are classified as near-threatened, of least concern, or naturally uncommon. Number 11. Barrel Eye Fish The reason why the barrel eye fish got its name becomes obvious once you see its peculiar features. Its eyes are shaped like barrels and are usually directed upwards as it searches for prey. Although the fish can also move its eyes forward, it is difficult to say which position is more unsettling. In addition to these unusual eyes, the fish has transparent, dome-shaped heads that protect their eyes and allow them to gather light. This protection is crucial as they often encounter siphonophores, a marine species with stinging cells from which they steal food. These fish are found in tropical and temperate waters of the Pacific, 
Indian, and Atlantic Oceans, dwelling at depths between 1,312 and 8,202 feet. They have small mouths, no teeth, pointed snouts, and usually have dark brown bodies with silvery scales, although their bodies can sometimes appear white. Due to their deep-sea habitat, not much is known about their daily lives, but it is believed that they are solitary creatures that do not migrate and reproduce by releasing eggs and sperm into the water. Number 12. Dumbo Octopus Although they may appear eerie, there is something quite endearing about Dumbo octopuses. Their name is derived from their resemblance to the character Dumbo from the Disney film, which gives an indication of their cuteness. However, despite their appearance, they are not elephants. These pelagic umbrella octopuses have noticeable ears extending from the mantle above each of their eyes. There are at least 15 known species of Dumbo octopuses, and they inhabit various regions of the world's chilly ocean depths, ranging from 3,280 feet to nearly 23,000 feet. These adorable creatures feed on bivalves, copepods, worms, and crustaceans, but their lifespan is relatively short, lasting only five years. Although they are not directly threatened by humans, they face dangers from natural predators in their deep-sea environments, such as large teleost fish, seals, sperm whales, and sharks. Similar to other octopuses, they lack ink sacs and the ability to change color, making it unclear how they evade becoming prey. This may explain their relatively short lifespan. While many questions about this species remain unanswered, some aspects have been determined. It is believed that they use their fins for movement, and there is curiosity regarding their jet propulsion abilities. Additionally, their arms enable them to crawl along the seafloor to catch prey and lay eggs, although they often obtain food by pouncing on any available creature they come across. Number 13. Deep Sea Dragonfish The deep sea dragonfish is a small yet repulsive-looking creature found in the depths of the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. It can survive in waters as deep as 5,000 feet. Measuring around 4 to 6 inches in length, it is sometimes referred to as the scaleless dragonfish. What sets this species apart are its disproportionately large teeth, which seem out of place given its small size. Similar to other fish, the deep-sea dragonfish possesses the ability to emit light using bioluminescence. This is accomplished through a unique organ called a photophore. By utilizing this light, the fish attracts prey and locates potential mates. Additionally, the presence of a light-producing barbell on its chin, as well as other light-emitting organs on its body sides, adds to its predatory prowess. The deep-sea dragonfish is an opportunistic feeder, consuming crustaceans and small fish or any available food source. Due to their deep-sea habitat, little is known about their mating habits, although experts speculate that they engage in external spawning, where the female releases eggs into the water for the male to fertilize. Number 14. Benthicodon Jellyfish The Benthicodon Jellyfish is a stunning species that resembles a dazzling fireworks show when submerged in water. Although it is small and red, it can be found near the ocean floor in regions spanning from the Pacific Ocean to the Arctic Ocean. What sets this jellyfish apart is its ability to use bioluminescence to attract prey, similar to an anglerfish. The seemingly fiery particles on its dome are actually delicate tentacles that it employs to move through the water. A single jellyfish can possess up to 2,000 of these tiny tentacles, granting it swiftness and agility. Despite the abundance of tentacles, one might assume that the jellyfish is large, but that is not the case. It typically reaches a diameter of around 4 centimeters or 1.57 inches because it is predominantly found in waters deeper than 2,500 meters or 8,202 feet. Encounters with this creature are limited. However, a few specimens have been discovered in waters as shallow as 328 feet. The ocean has always held its share of mysteries, but a colossal trench harboring peculiar creatures takes the enigma to a whole new level. Are you familiar with any of these marine creatures? Would you dare to dive into the Mariana Trench? Don't forget to explore the other fascinating content appearing on your screen. Until next time. Number 15. Fangtooth The fangtooth fish, also known as a deep-sea fish, is not considered visually appealing. 
This species, found in tropical and cold temperate waters, possesses disproportionately large fang-like teeth, reaching lengths of approximately 6.3 inches. Its small head, prominent jaws, and rough, thin skin are not in harmony with its facial structure. Additionally, the fish has small eyes positioned high on its head, dark-colored heads, small fins, and scaly skin resembling thin plates. Within the fangtooth species, the pelagic fangtooths reside in the deepest parts of the ocean, specifically at 16,000 feet or 5,000 meters. Juvenile fangtooth fish tend to live in shallower depths around the 6, 650-foot mark. Despite their menacing appearance, these fish do not pose a significant threat to humans. They primarily feed on zooplankton, while the adults living in deeper ocean regions consume squid and fish. Interestingly, despite having formidable teeth for self-defense, they often become prey themselves. Large pelagic fish such as marlin, tuna, and some shark species occasionally feast on fangtooth fish. Number 16. Zombie Worm the deepest, most mysterious parts of the ocean are the likely habitat for zombie worms, despite their misleading name. Contrary to popular belief, these creatures, also known as Ossidax worms, do not feast on brains but rather on bones. First discovered in 2002, dwelling inside the decaying bones of a gray whale, nearly 10,000 feet below the ocean's surface, these worms typically reach a length of three inches. Since their initial discovery, more than 25 species of zombie worms have been identified. One might imagine that these worms consume bones by simply gnawing on them with tiny teeth. However, their feeding process is much more fascinating. Instead of possessing a mouth or stomach, they secrete acid through their skin to dissolve fats within the bones. This acid dissolves the bone, liberating the protein and fat trapped within. Subsequently, Bacteria living inside the worm digest the dissolved bone. Although researchers are uncertain about how the worm obtains nutrients from the bacteria, they speculate that the worm either digests the bacteria or that the bacteria transfers nutrients to the worm somehow. Additionally, the zombie worms do not exclusively consume whale bones. They cling onto any bones they come across, such as fish and cow bones that are discarded into the water. Strikingly, only the female zombie worms exhibit this behavior. The males, which are microscopic, reside inside the female worms. In fact, one female zombie worm was discovered hosting more than a hundred males within her. Number 17. Telescope Octopus Telescope octopuses are extremely hard to find, and even if you do manage to spot one, you might not recognize it. These sea creatures live deep beneath the ocean surface, at depths of up to 6,500 feet, in the Indian and Pacific Ocean's tropical and subtropical waters. Measuring around 8 inches in length, their arms make up at least half of their total size. They are believed to be related to another deep-sea octopus species called the glass octopus. However, the telescope octopus possesses a distinctive characteristic. Unlike most octopuses that crawl on the ocean floor, this species simply drifts along with the currents, opting not to create its own path. Throughout its life, it remains suspended in the water column, earning it the title of the Drifter of the Ocean. Experts suggest that this vertical positioning assists the octopus in evading predators. Nevertheless, it may not even need this tactic, as its body is gelatinous and transparent. You could be staring directly at a telescope octopus without even realizing it. The most visible parts of its body are its eyes and digestive glands, while the rest of its appearance gives off a ghost-like impression. Number 18. Mariana Snailfish The Mariana Snailfish, also known as the Mariana Hadal Snailfish, is a peculiar species found deep in the Mariana Trench. While most fish cannot survive at such extreme depths, this resilient creature has been observed living between 20,335 feet to 26,496 feet, and there is even a recorded catch at 26,135 feet. Despite its small size of only 11.3 inches and 0.35 pounds, it resembles a large tadpole rather than a typical fish. Surprisingly, it is considered the top predator in various regions of the Mariana Trench and primarily feeds on small crustaceans. Our understanding of the snailfish was limited until 2014, when the first specimen was discovered.
Since then, more individuals have been observed, allowing us to gain insights into their survival and reproductive behaviors. These fish possess unique adaptations that set them apart from other species, such as transparent skin lacking pigmentation, enlarged organs and eggs, thin muscles, and incomplete skull development. They also have poor or non-existent vision. Additionally, Mariana snailfish are believed to have unusually large eggs, measuring up to 0.4 inches or 1 centimeter in diameter. Number 19, Ping Pong Tree Sponge. Just when you thought the ocean couldn't get any more bizarre, we come across the Ping Pong Tree Sponge. This sponge resembles a tree covered in table tennis balls, and believe it or not, it has a taste for flesh. This extraordinary tree sponge can reach a height of 20 inches and consists of a slender stem with spherical projections that appear soft and squishy. However, they are surprisingly not soft and squishy to the touch. These little balls are covered in small, spiky structures that resemble hooks. When crustaceans come into contact with them, the bristles on their bodies become entangled with the spiky structures and they become trapped, just like Velcro. Gradually, the cells of the ping-pong tree sponge begin to envelop the prey and initiate the digestion process. Each cell utilizes phagocytosis, a process in which a particle is engulfed by the cell's plasma membrane to gradually consume the crustacean. Due to the absence of a digestive cavity or stomach, it takes a considerable amount of time for the prey to be broken down. Eventually, the doomed creature simply dissolves away. Thankfully, we don't have to witness this horrifying sight, as most ping-pong tree sponges reside in the depths of the Pacific Ocean, approximately 8,860 feet below the surface. Number 20. Fanfin Sea Devils the fanfin sea devils resemble the imaginative monsters children create when scribbling on paper. Remarkably, these frightening creatures actually exist. They are anglerfish adorned with hairy spikes across their bodies and possess a luminous lure used for hunting and self-preservation. Due to their deep-sea habitat, our knowledge of them is limited but sufficient to provide a fair understanding. After attracting prey with their attractive light, they devour creatures much larger than themselves by opening their wide, tooth-filled mouths and swallowing them into their expandable stomachs. Despite appearing large in photographs, they are fortunately not enormous. Female fanfin sea devils reach a maximum length of about 8 inches, while males are considerably smaller at only half an inch long. The mating process of these creatures is quite intriguing. Male fanfin sea devils are described as sexual parasites by experts as they permanently attach themselves to larger females to reproduce. This peculiar strategy ensures a lifelong bond between them.